Hi beauties, so today our long-awaited Ipsy versus Ipsy for September 2020 is here. Now we have posted the plus video already. I've seen some mixed things based on the reviews um, from other YouTubers, from you guys. It seems like people were kind of hit or miss with it. I personally liked it. Um, I did test my Seraphine Botanicals palette that I picked and I was not in love with it, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah, I did I did feel like I had a decent choice in products. Um, I got a good variety of stuff and I definitely think it was well worth the $25. So I'm excited to see what our standard bag looks like this month. Um, I love the design of the little bag itself. I did do my customization option. I remember what I chose. I chose the PYT little four pan eyeshadow palette. Then I don't look at the spoilers for anything else. So that's the fun thing. Now, if you're just joining us, why is this Ipsy versus Ipsy? Well, I have an Ipsy subscription and so does my mother. We do both uh, the standard and the plus. Um, and then each month we get it. I unbox them. I pick out my favorite bag as a whole between mine and my mom's, and then I pick out my top five favorite products from the combination of the 10 that we both received. Now, I will say she also picked the same PYT little palettes. We don't normally do this, but I have, um, for a, a couple months now, I've been talking to you guys. I've seen you guys thinking about it. I've talked to my mom about it. We have this theory that um, if you pick a customization option, it's gonna dictate your entire bag. So I'm interested to see. The last time we did pick out the same item, it happened with the Plus and our boxes were identical. I'm interested to see if that's potentially going to be what happens here. I don't know. I haven't checked spoilers besides my little uh, eyeshadow thing. That's all I know. So let's jump into it. I always start with my mother's bag, which is this one right here. So we're gonna do that. Oh, I wasn't even expecting that. So I love the bag. I love the plus bag as well, but I didn't realize it was double-sided. I thought you got either or. So that is, what a cute way to do that. Love it. And I love like the little corduroy thing. It does make me like, it's given me some serious fall vibes. I love everything about it. I really like the design of this bag. Okay, so first we'll start off with what she chose because I'm actually really excited to see this. It is the Day to Night Cool Eyeshadow Palette. That's what it looks like on the outside. And on the inside, it's got these really pretty neutral shades. I'm gonna say I'm a little disappointed um, just because online it looked really shimmery and really reflect reflective for these two shades. Like they were very eye-catching and they're just a little bit more neutral than I was expecting. I still think it's a gorgeous eyeshadow palette. I think it's a really nice little thing to have in like a travel bag. If you're just like going out of town for the weekend, you wanna have some really nice neutrals, especially if you're doing something where you're not gonna try and do like a heavy, heavy makeup look. I think this is a great little thing. So I am happy that I chose it. I think she's gonna really like it too because that's very up her alley for color. All right, the next thing we have is the Pore Professional Hydrate Primer from Benefit. Uh, this is personally one of my favorite primers. I really like it. It is one of the best pore fillers, um, in my opinion, because it, it just does a great job of giving you this like really glassy feel. Um, the only thing about these samples, I've received quite a few of them in like Ulta kits and things like that. They're just very tiny. I feel like you are gonna get maybe like a week's worth of use out of it at best. Still, still really good quality, still a nice little um, product to have, especially in like a travel bag, but it is just a tinier, just a tiny, just a, just to say, just to play devil's advocate out there. The next thing we have is a rejuvenating mask from Vicious Skin, I think. I think that's how I pronounce it. And it is a cannabis sativa seed oil mask. I will say, I started getting a ton of CBD oil, can cannabis oil uh, based products probably at the beginning of this year. I'm thinking like March, I started really getting a, a good amount of them. And at first I was kind of like, I don't know about this. I love them. I really feel like they do such a nice job, especially in terms of skincare, going in and like reducing redness, reducing swelling and things like that, um, which is of course part of the benefits of CBD. So I'm actually thinking that she's gonna like this a lot. She deals with a ton of chronic pain. And so um, I've, I've told her that cannabis, I feel like is going to be a nice like, ingredient into um, products for her to help with that. I think she's gonna like this a lot, even though she's not a huge masks fan. I personally, um, I like it. I think it's a good product. I'm, you know, I always get masks, so it's hard for me because I'm always like, meh. But I'm doing so much more skincare now that it, it seems like a much better product than I, when I used to complain about it all the time. Oh, oh, they gave us the list. They gave us the product list this time. 
it's not the big one, which tells me like, cause you know, with the plus it's the full size, you can see the price, but it does tell you like, this is a deluxe sample and the retail value of the full size is this, which I like. I like that's, that's exciting. I'm excited about that. I love to see it. I love to see it. I'm happy it's back. I missed it. All right. The next thing we have is from Real Her. It is a Confidence in My Glow highlighter. And we picked up both mom and I actually redeemed points a little while ago for the Real Her eyeshadow palette that they had available. And I still have not tested it. And I feel like I should. Oh my God, I cannot open this. I'm gonna open it from the bottom because I cannot get that sticker off to save my life. Oh, I love the packaging. The packaging is like a little marble effect. So cute, I love that. Not actually was not the shade I was expecting. It's really pretty, like a very nice champagne shade. Really pretty. I love it. I think my mom's gonna love it. I'm so far a big fan of this bag because it looks like a full face of makeup. And I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Yeah. The last thing we have is another good product. It's Pacifica's Desert Sun Matte Blush and Bronzer. And this is actually one of the things I debated picking out as well. So, I, oh wow, it's really pretty. Great size, huge pants. And I like Pacifica a lot. And then just a really gorgeous, once again, a great thing to have if you're traveling, especially since on the back they have a mirror. I love it. Oh my God, I love it. This is an, it's an awesome bag in my opinion. You've got a mask for skincare. You've got a primer. You've got eyeshadows. You've got a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. That's a, that's basically, you know, like a, aside from you're missing like a mascara and like, maybe some foundation. That's a full face of makeup right there. So I am really impressed with this bag. This is one of the best bags I think we've seen in a really long time. Once again, I'm interested to see how mine stacks up to it, especially since we did choose the same product. So let's see, let's check. All right, let's jump into mine. <laughs> ah, or not. Um, I will say they shipped like a day apart, but mine showed up way earlier than hers did. Um, hers got delayed at some point and I don't know why or how, but it we thought it was gonna be here like last week and like Wednesday and then it showed up on Monday, which was yesterday. So I was like, well, okay. Let's, let's check the card really quick, but I was correct. I was correct. So yeah, the exact same products. Now that being said, if I'm gonna get a damn duplicate of a bag, this is the bag that I would want. I love everything she got, I, which means I love everything I got. But yeah, just, I opened the bag and I was like, well, that looks like the same, that looks like the same, yeah. I won't go through it all again, but yeah, I got the, the cannabis mask, I got the Real Her highlighter, I got the Pore Professional. I have my PYT eyeshadow palette and I have the same Pacifica blush and bronzer duo. I would more or less say just seeing from you guys talking from what you guys get in your bags and talking about that and, and seeing when you choose the same products that you tend to get the same things. I'm thinking that this is their system. They've added this um, more defined customization, because I do feel like with the customization, we're getting more options for the standard bag. Um, I'm not, this is, won't be about Plus, obviously, because Plus is entirely different now. They give you a little bit more options. They have you go in and pick them. And then if you pick out something, it's gonna dictate what you get in the rest of your bag. I don't know how I feel about that. For some months, it works out really well. For this month, it worked out great for me. I love what I got. I think it's a great value. Um, I think I'm gonna use all of it, which is also really important because there's a lot of times you might get things that you kind of don't use or you forget about, or you're like, eh, it's cute, but eh. Um, and for me personally, that's a really bad habit because I'm like, oh, well, I probably will use it and then I wind up forgetting about it. And the, on the other hand, is it really specified to your preferences then? No, it's not. Um, and that is something that maybe needs to be addressed. I don't know. I'm not complaining because this is this is hands down probably my favorite bag that I've ever gotten from them um, in terms of the standard because it just is, it's got everything. It's got stuff I'm gonna use and it's diverse as hell and I absolutely appreciate that. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of throwing out some thoughts and issues or whatever. What do you guys think? I was kind of expecting it, if I'm being honest. When mom and I chose the same item, I said, I'm pretty positive this is what's gonna happen. It did, it did happen. I... That's all I'm gonna say about it. So yeah, what do you guys think about it? Did you like your bag? Um, how are you feeling? D did you get the same, if you chose the PYT palette, did you get the same products we got? What are you guys thinking? Um, 
yeah, I personally am happy with the September bag a lot. I love the design and I love the product. So it's not like I'm at risk of canceling my Ipsy for next month because I'm like salty or anything. Just an interesting turn of events that we have kind of seen unfold for the past few months. So yes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing. We'd love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. Uh, we do a lot of unboxings and we do a lot of hauls and we do a lot of first impressions and other random stories from my life. And so it just isn't, it's always a wild ride here. So if you, uh, if you do like us, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you see when we post. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with the Dark Twist.